Good morning ladies and gents. Welcome on board the Lomond Queen. Flight is starting at cruise here in La Clomond. By introducing ourselves, your steward is today, her name is Mary Ann. Mary Ann, she'll be downstairs behind the bar. If anyone wishes, tea or coffee. Maybe something a little bit stronger. We do recommend a La Clomond special. This is a drama whiskey or a tot of rum in your coffee. Or one for the ladies' hot chocolate brandy. My name's Robert. I'll tell you a few bits about McLomond as we go along. But before we get any further, got to give you a small safety announcement. Tom the cabin roof of two self-inflating life rafts. They carry up to 95 people. They also carry 82 life jackets underneath the seats in the lower saloon. Also get notices downstairs telling you what to do in the event of an emergency. End of safety announcement. McLomond is 23 miles long, 5 miles wide, down at the south end, 1 mile wide, up here at the north end. The large building you see here to our right, this building is the Inversnade Hotel. Inversnade didn't used to be the large modern hotel it is today. Up to 1939, it used to be a small stagecoach inn. Stabled something like 40 pairs of horses there at one time. The English pull you for your mods horse, he stayed there. That's why I'll stay now. He wrote his poem, I know it to a sweet Highland mate. Inver in Scotland is a prefix. Wherever you see the word Inver, it means at the mouth of a river. For example, Inverness, the mouth of the river Ness. Therefore, Inver Snade, the mouth of the river Snade. You see the river coming up to the right hand side of the hotel. The falls you see there. They're called the Arklet Falls. They get their name from the loch where the water comes from, Loch Arklet, which lies about two miles up the hill. If you bear with me for a minute or two, I've got a couple of people to drop off here. If you look across the lock there from Inver State, a large building you see with the four pipes leading down into it. This is a local haggis factory. The rarely young haggis in the large building at the bottom. Once they're big enough, mature enough, send them up the first two pints to be cleaned. Back down the other two pints, packed, ready to go to a local butcher's, a local supermarket. Okay, who believed it? You usually find there's one. There's in fact all part of the Loch Sloy hydroelectric scheme. Loch Sloy lies on the other side of that mountain. That mountain being Ben Vorlick, Dammed in 1947. If you look over to the right here, small cottage you see there. The name of that cottage is Calmes Cottage. Calmes Cottage is a home. The local gamekeeper for this side of the lot. His job to look after the wildlife in the hills there around. On the hills we have red deer, roe deer, sheep, cattle, wild mountain goats, wild haggis. You may laugh, I did have one Australian chap. He asked me if it's a striped haggis or a spotty haggis. My answer to that question was, this is body haggis. He spotted, you're lucky. The gamekeeper, he also takes to do the fishing in Loch Lomond. In Loch Lomond, we have salmon, sea trout, brown trout, pike, eel, and all the rest of the freshwater fish that you know of. I'm afraid we don't have a monster anymore to show you. The nearest time I had to that, I married over 35 years ago. Well, that's us coming back into Tarbot now. Coming towards the end of your trip in the lock. Just a couple of things left for me to say. One is, can everybody please remain with her? Can we get tied up on the long side? Either Mary Ann or myself will let you know when it's time to get off. If 
finally on behalf of Mary Ann and myself, thank you very much for sailing with us today. Hope you enjoyed your trip and along. Hope you enjoy your holiday here. And I hope to see you back someday. Thank you.